<laughs> Good morning, Miss Chula. Well, actually, Good morning. <laughs> well, morning for you. I'm getting ready to make dinner, but fun. And I'm awake at 7 a.m. because some people can't do meetings at respectable hours of the day. <laughs> because some people have to go to mom's for dinner. Have you ever tried to not go to your parents' house for dinner when they asked you to be there? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm well aware. And being a mother myself, if my boys don't yes. turn what I ask them to, there's like, you know, the disapproval. Yes. My mother would not accept this as a reason for being late for dinner. So cool. sorry <laughs> you had to get up so early. But uh, if you I, want to talk to my mom, you're welcome to. <laughs> I talk to your mom. You know, I love your mom. Yeah, yeah I know okay. that. We have exciting news, everybody. Big Wood starts tomorrow. I can't believe it's finally here. I know. It feels like it's like 10 years in the making. <laughs> it does. Well, it kind of is. I mean, if we if we date this from when we first started talking about working together, it is about 10 years in the making. It is about 10 years in the making or maybe even closer to 15 even. It's been a long time. It has. But... I know everyone in America is going tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Well, guess what, American (laughs) people, you forgot. I live in Tomorrowland where tomorrow (laughs) is Thursday because today is Wednesday. So you guys actually get it a day. I cannot untangle that. So (laughs) I hope someone else does it. So, yeah, tomorrow Big Woods will be up. I am already, I have edited our absolutely charming video, which, if I may say, we are simply delightful. (laughs) I bet we are. I don't remember a single minute of what we filmed <laughs> there. So I must say there was a fair bit of it as I was going through going, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Or mm, I think I better add another bit in there because that makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good. It makes sense now. Month one, guys, has like, I kid you not, like an hour and 20 minutes or something like that worth of video. It literally explains absolutely every single tiny little thing from threading your needle all the way through to application three you will be able to each month go back and like refer to that and have a look at all the applique techniques and all of that stuff every month so it's like your encyclopedia yeah so you have access to all the videos all year long which is super cool because i know i go back to some of the trickier bits like points or inside curves or whatever uh just to refresh and that's super helpful yeah just to like refresh and you know Mm -hmm. remember things from last time because you don't always remember when it's been a month in between and when you pick things up yeah Um, and a lot happens in a month well it does so make yourself a cup of tea or a coffee or pour yourself a nice big glass of wine and sit down and get comfortable to watch that because it's not a little quick situation um, if you are a completely beginner applicator, we also have an extra little video for you this month with a little, Which um, yeah, a little extra heart template, and that is simply for you to practice. It's just for you to practice um, so that you can feel a bit more confident before you actually do something on your quilt, which I know can be really daunting if you've never. And done. I think there's always reasons for applicating hearts, like on anything. Well, there is, and I made, oh, look, hang on a minute, I'll get them, they're really cute. Oh, go get them. <laughs> well, I made two. And because I saw that you chill a Tuesday, the new fabric, I used the new fabric. Oh, oh my gosh, that looks awesome. <laughs> and that one's got a bit of tabby robe. Oh, ooh. I have not combined Untamed and Tabby Bread. Okay, not the point of this video. We will come back to that later after we start Very good time digging in on the new fabric. Anyway, so that is there for you if you are a new applicator so that you can give it a practice and you won't feel too daunted when you start on your actual tree. Super good practice too because there's an inside point and an outside point on that. And so I think it'll... It like you had me start with a heart too, and it just sort of dispelled the fear of those two things. Yeah, it's a good it's a good one to start with because it gives you a curve as well on the outside, so mm-hmm. it gives you things to just kind of get your little head around for you. And plus, mm-hmm. they're that super cute. You can make a whole bunch of them and make a little quilt cool out of them. I mean, yeah, it'd be amazing. And if you are uh, a an, an, you know, an applicator, a seasoned applicator, and you know what you're doing and you want to add some little extras, we have our first extras for this month. Yay! There is a little extra birdie. Oh, my gosh, I love it. I love his tail. Under the tree because he has legs. And then there is a little extra birdie who's sitting down and he can sit in the leaves on the top. Gosh. Okay, so I'm making both birds. Yeah. You can put one, you can put two, you can put a flock 
It's entirely up to you. This is the part of the quilt I've been most excited about for this getting started because we've talked the whole time about how there will be little things. And what I love about it is you have your base quilt, but everybody's will be a little different. You'll add some things in. Some people won't add some things in. And it's I love it when like everybody can start with the same kit yeah. and end up with a totally it's different quilt. Slightly different. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And the fabric for those extras isn't in your kit. No, that's we spread up stuff. Have, like that's yeah. something we you pull in. Jeweler, right? So we can all play with what we have. And I know the, I do. The other nice thing about those is that all of the extras are going to be able to added, be added after you finish the block. So if you get six months in and decide that your applique has really come a huge way along and you're going to, you want to go back and add all that stuff in, it's all able to just be added on top of what was already done. So you don't that's need to. That's a good point. Yeah. So that's also a really good thing to remember. If you're looking at it right now going, oh, I can't do it, and then in three months you think, I wish I had a bird, you just go back and pop him on. It's fine. Pop on a bird. I mean, theoretically, could you put the bird on even after it was quilted? Look, you could. I'm not a huge fan of doing no. it after Is that it not a thing? Well, if there's quilting underneath it and everything, it can Oh, it. sure, it'll make it lumpy. Yeah, yeah, it'll make it all kind of lumpy and weird. And it does make it also very hard to get your hand right. Oh, in. sure. Okay, this is why I don't teach it. I mean, look. I, I, I just wanted really to teacher. show them the example of why you're in charge of this and I'm not. That was just a teaching moment. Yeah, look, you theoretically could, but I'm not okay. sure you particularly want to is the question. Okay. The answer to that. So, yeah, so, look, it's all happening. Um, in order to get your pattern when it drops, I will post on social media and we will also email everybody when the pattern is available. But we don't email you the pattern, just as a reminder. What? You yeah, do- you go to the website. You go and you sign in using your password and everything will be sitting there waiting for you, which is where the material requirements and all of that stuff have been already. So same place. If you haven't signed up yet, you can still sign up. You haven't missed out. You can still sign up. All the way through the year. We okay, go- that was my question. Because here's what always happens. Like you see every, you see a bunch of people like making a project that you passed on or whatever. I mean, I don't know why anyone passed on this, but like if they did, so if they're like, Oh, this doesn't look as hard as I thought it would be, or I was scared of the applique, or now I'm seeing it and it looks really fun. So people will be able to sign up later, theoretically. Yep, they still will. So you'll be able to sign up all the way through to June next year. And that's what Oh, we're wonderful. Yeah, long time. It doesn't mean you'll be able to get a kit. But if you're looking for a right. kit right now, there are still a couple of stores that have some left. So have a yes. search around. I won't say there's a lot that have some left, but there are a couple. Yeah. Of so search yeah. around. you still need a kit. They are out there. Um, and the list of all of the shops that had kits is at my website and at Free Spirits website. Oh, so awesome. So- and find yourself kit. Uh, and yeah, get excited because it's coming. Yeah. It's starting. I can't believe it's starting. I've been really excited to start yeah. it. I've yeah. been like clearing the boards of all the other things I needed to finish for August 1. Right, so I can't wait to see your block. Chula has done her block in some very exciting new fabric that I won't tell you about. Um, yeah. <laughs> because that's hers to tell you about. Uh, but, yeah, she's going to show you her block soon and it's going to be very exciting. It is very exciting. I mean, I used a lot of true colors, obviously. Like, so basically I used most of the kit and then just, like, added in little bits, like, for the app- some of the applique bits. Uh, I just looked at it. Sorry, you can't see it. That's rude. Um, <laughs> it's over there. Uh, but of a collection that's not out yet. So I'm going to be a little bit behind because what I want to use for my first block for the roof I don't have yet so I've made I've made everything around the roof yeah but that's awesome because you guys are going to get to see brand new fabric being used immediately in a quilt that you're working so that's very very fun and it's so easy to like add in little bits here and there right like like oh I'll make the ear of the of this animal this one instead like it's it's so easy to do with just stuff from your studio which is what I love about applique is like it's the ultimate form of like anything at hand is useful I mean you know if you wanted to wait for all your little extra pieces too until a certain collection is out then you mm. can do Smart. that add them Smart. all the fabric at the end because yeah, fun yeah, that would be very easily done. And, you know, some of these 
little beauties. Oh, that looks really good. Doesn't it? I'm really, happy. I'm really excited about Untamed and Tabby Road together. That never occurred to me. Yes. And I think Untamed would be beautiful in Big Woods. So, you know, you could easily. Yeah, get- it would be really good in Big Woods. In, as you go along. Yes. So, awesome. So here we go. Yep. Let's go. It's very exciting. And look out for your pattern tomorrow because I just can't wait for you all to get started. I'm so excited. I know. Oh, my God. I can't believe it's starting. I can't believe to see what people do. Okay, goodbye. I have to go to dinner. My mom's going to kill me. Mm-hmm. See you ah. later. <laughs>